Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Ram 1500 Laramie. And this thing's got a lot of features uh, to show off, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Right here in the front, you notice it has a nice, cool looking grill, shiny grill, and the, uh, the chrome bumper and all that with the projector headlights and the LED accents. Um, but it also has uh, parking sensors here in the front, as you can see on the, on the front grill these little round dots that's your parking sensors which is on the front normally they would be, they would be found on the back but this year um, you can get those in the front as well it does have the tow hooks there really sharp looking grill and I like the way the projector headlights are pretty neat it looks like a crystal ball in there or something but anyway uh, here's your shiny wheels 20 inch pretty neat design this does have the 5.7 liter Hemi you've got the chrome uh, rear view mirrors as well as the handles and this does have the RAM boxes so before I go too much further here's the key and I'm gonna it does have the uh, remote start so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up The doors are locked, and I'm going to go ahead and put the key in my pocket so I can demonstrate the proximity key. Um, as long as I have the key in my pocket or on me somewhere or in my hand or whatever, the doors are locked. I can just put my hand here on the handle, and they automatically, automatically unlock. If I want to relock them, I just push this button. It senses the key, it senses my hand, and locks the doors. So I don't actually have to take the key out and, and, and use the key. As long as I have it with me, I can drive the vehicle, lock the vehicle, and all that good stuff. So here's the inside of the front door. We've got a nice black interior with some uh, white stitching. There's some pockets there, right in here, as well as some cup holders and pockets there at the bottom. It does have some wood grain trim here. Nice perforated seats. And they are heated and cooled here in the front. And then you've got the embossed Laramie there. You've got pockets everywhere. There's one there. There's a storage compartment that opens up. There's your glove compartment here. A little pocket there. This one has the, uh, the cool rubber slush mat type mats. And uh, let's see what that looks like there. They've got the diamond plate and the look like bolts, bolt looking things there. That's pretty cool. And of course the ram symbol. Got your pocket there and all that stuff. Let's keep on moving. It does have the power seat here in the front. This is a crew cab. So it has a large back door. And you can see it has the same pockets here on the door same quality and, and look and usefulness in the back door as the front now here's the back seat it is perforated and it does it is heated but it's not cooled in the back now the seat lifts up and you do have a flat surface for, for putting stuff here in the back in case you want to uh, put something in the back instead of the back back seat instead of the back of the truck it's got this neat little light here when you lift the seat up give you a little bit of light during the dark under here is your um, normally it would be the storage but this one has the upgraded alpine sound system and there's this the subwoofer and the out the amplifier for that so that's kind of out of the way now underneath this floor mat which goes this one piece floor mat all the way across there which is really useful to keep your vehicle uh, clean and in good shape there's a storage compartment right here and this comes out as a liner you can take it out dump it put it back in close like that there's your heated seat controls there as well as some vents there's also vents underneath the back the seats going back here there's cup holders there There's an armrest that folds down. It does have cup holders in it as well. And this does have the uh, latch system. It's easy to see them when I left the seat up for uh, child safety seats. And it does have a, a tether back here 
for the back for the child safety seats. Now here's the RAM boxes. It lifts up and these will lock and unlock with the remote control. And as you can see it has drains there on the bottom so you can fill this up jam full of ice and use it as a big cooler and you can drain the water out when, as it melts. But uh, it does have some lights here. This RAM box. Very useful. This is on both sides of the truck. Now here's the back of the truck. You can see it has dual exhaust and you can also hear that hopefully. It is a Laramie. And it does have the parking sensors here in the back as well as the towing package and it does have the four-way and uh, the four-way and seven-way plugs here for your for your trailer four-wheel drive truck of course and uh, there's your cool ram sign there's a little lens for your backup camera now the back the tailgate will lock and unlock with the key too so when the, when doors are unlocked this tailgate locks unlocks too you do have the factory spray and bed liner and there's a cargo management system right there which is lockable so nobody steals it and you can see how the ram boxes does have like tie downs here um, utilize the space and the wheel wells would normally be so um, it's not really taking up too much space back here I'm just kind of look under there give you a view I can't see but I'm just holding the camera down so you can see it what it looks like with the coil springs no oh, can't really see them not I just hold the camera down so you can see anyway there's your gas cap on the driver's side the cool thing that some people might forget is when you take the gas cap off um, it has this little hook right there so you can not you know drop your gas cap down and, and rub against your truck you can just take the, the cable and just kind of hook it there and it's out, that way it's out of the way now some trucks are going to a capless design but since you still have a cap on this one that's a little neat little feature I, I thought was neat and here's the ram box on this side which I locked it when I kneeled down accidentally let me unlock everything. You can hear the RAM boxes lock and unlock. But here's the same thing on this side basically as the other side. Now here it is on the other side. And you see the door is about the same. I just want to show you the storage compartment on this side underneath the seat. It's a pretty good amount of space in there. has a pretty good rim. Keeps stuff from rolling out from underneath the seat. You do have the storage store floor here on the other side as well, just like on this side. All right, here's the inside of the front door. It does have the same storage pockets that I showed you on the other door. Um, this has more controls. You got your door lock controls, power window controls side mirror adjustment controls and a power side mirror power folding side mirror that will fold in when you push that button and the side mirrors are heated it does have automatic headlights power adjustable pedals I don't know if you can see the little adjustment here this those pedals are moving in and out it does have uh, adjustable power seats here as well as uh, presets two presets so I'm gonna hop in and since I use remote start I still have to push this button to activate everything first thing I'm gonna do is turn the volume down using the back of the steering wheel and adjust my seat back a little bit so I have some more room shut the door now before I forget I'm gonna go ahead and show you about the power side where it mirrors just push that button and you can see them open and close which is pretty cool all right now here's the um, 
the steering wheel. We'll go ahead and start with that because a lot of a lot of stuff in this truck. Uh, the steering wheel, like I showed you before, it does have the volume on the back of the steering wheel. It does have on the back of the steering wheel on this side to change the stations. So I can adjust the station, I can turn the volume up and down, all while keeping my hands safely on the wheel while I'm on the highway. Now on the front of the right side, you've got a bunch of buttons. Um, this does have the 8-speed transmission, which is a dial shifter, which I'll show you in a second. But in order to gear up and down, you have these buttons here. Right below that is your cruise control buttons, which are pretty much standard. On this side you have a voice recognition button, your Bluetooth to answer your phone, and your directional buttons that correspond to this um, this this uh, screen right here in the middle between your gauges. Now you can see the gauges are, you know, you still have your normal gauges there, but you do have some extra information here in the um, in this little screen here. And I'm pushing the buttons here on the steering wheel in order to scroll through this to show you. just to give you an idea of what, what's in that menu. And it is highly customizable too. So it does have the digital compass right here on the top left, digital temperature, it's a nice day, 73 degrees outside, nice and sunny. All right. And the steering wheel is leather wrapped, stitched, very comfortable, not, not too, um, too spongy or anything, but it's really good. And it's got some really cool stitching here on the dash. Hopefully you can see that. And then it's got the Alpine sound system badge up there. You got a little storage pocket up there, which is cool. Now let me make sure that the the, the air conditioner is not blowing on the camera. But it's got the push button start. Now normally, if you don't use the remote start, you put your foot on the brake and you push the button and it starts up. And you don't have to have the key um, out. You just keep the key in your pocket. It's no problem. So there's your shifter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hold my foot on the brake and put it in reverse so I can show you the back of camera. Now, you notice those two lines. Now I've got the steering wheel in my hand. I'm turning it. And you can see that it will give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you're turning the steering wheel and an estimated width of the vehicle as it's backing up. So that way you can get an idea, just kind of visualize um, which way you're going when you're backing up. And also you'll notice it is a wide angle lens, everything is, is rounded, the whole looks like a, a ball. That's to give you the, the greatest visibility. Now you can see your bumper right here and your trailer hitch will be right there. So when you put your ball on the trailer hitch, you can back right up and, and hook up to a trailer very, very easy. Uh, first time, no help really really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in park and that's that's your shifter I know it's a little bit different than some of shifters but that's your shifter you just shift it and drive and go there's your four-wheel drive controls right there which I'm not going to demonstrate but just where they are at and this is the 8.4 um, you connect system it does have navigation I'm going to start with the radio. It does have Sirius uh, XM radio, which is uh, free for the first year. You have AM and FM. Um, so it's basically, you know, standard radio stuff. You do have your volume here as well on the back of the steering wheel. You can tune it here or on the back of the steering wheel or here on the screen. And I'm going to go into media because that is um, your, your CD player, your USB input, your auxiliary input as well as your Bluetooth and your SD card. Those are all the different inputs that this system has. So you you're, you got a lot of, lot of possibilities there. And I'm gonna show you where all that stuff is in just a second. Um, your controls, this is for your heated and ventilated seats as well as heated steering wheel. And you can turn your auto, your mirror dimmer on or off. And uh, let's go to climate control. There's where you can adjust your temperatures and you know different your air conditioning and stuff like that, heat. You also have some controls down here. 
okay you know so you have them in both places your navigation really cool navigation system um, I can go where to and go to uh, different specific places uh, you can set it your home address in there and you could be anywhere in the world basically or anywhere within driving distance and just push drive home and it'll tell you how to get back home so really cool system there and or I could just view the map like that and just kind of get an idea of my surroundings um, and also you can you know push the voice recognition button and tell it to go to a certain address and it'll just show you how to get there it's really cool now it does take a little bit of time for the system to get used to your voice but it's it's really neat here's your phone uh, once you pair your phone your contacts and your your history and all that stuff will be downloaded in here and um, you can use the system to make calls receive calls all that stuff um, basically when you're driving and somebody tries to call you um, you'll, you'll hear the radio dim down and you'll hear it ringing through the sound system you just push this button here on the steering wheel and just uh, start talking the microphone for the audio is on top of the rear view mirror so it gets really good um, it, it, it's really good it sounds like that you're holding it right up to your, your head it's really cool alright um, your Uconnect apps are here and some of these require um, you know registration and some of them require payments and stuff like that but you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, you can go into um, like travel link and see what different fuel prices are movie listing sports um, weather map stuff like that right here on the screen as you're driving really cool stuff in in the system and um, there's a lot more than what I'm showing you but I'm just kind of giving you an overview you can always turn the screen off if it's just kind of distracting you pushing that button you can always push the screen and it'll come right back on so there's your volume tune your fan control there climate control settings here down here you got a whole slew of buttons too your parking sensors rear and front you could turn those off in case you know you're gonna get something close to something and you just don't want to hear the beeping sound uh, there's your tow and haul button, your traction control, stability control, your heated seats, cooled seats here on the front, as well as your steering wheel. There's a uh, an AC adapter there, um, 150 watts, so you can power a laptop or something like that. Um, I don't think it's it's not made for like hair dryers or anything like that, but it will power a lot of stuff. There is a storage compartment there big storage compartment there it looks like a place to put um, the business cards here there's a power supply there's your cup holders there's a nice little convenient pocket there now this is where your inputs are in here here's your center armrest as well as a like a storage compartment I guess inside here you have a, um, a place to put like a small tablet or a small laptop or a cell phone put some change there but right here you can um, is where you your SD card your USB your auxiliary inputs as well as a USB charger right there so that way you can put stuff in here charge it you can put stuff in here hook it to the sound system iPods or whatever really cool and it has little places for the wires to come out in case you need to uh, put something in there that uh, that you need to have out just wired through there this whole thing lifts up and you have more storage here as well as your CD player which is located there now And you've you've seen the uh, glove compartment and all that stuff. There's your auto uh, dim rear view mirror, and these buttons here, like 911 and assistance, that's from through your UConnect apps. If you like to subscribe to that, your garage door controls are here. Here's the infrared sensor here for your climate control. This button is for your sliding your rear glass sliding rear glass. There's your tap lights. Visor has a light and mirror. Same thing on that side. Really cool looking truck. Comfortable, has tons of features, and has a good stance off the road. Really good on the highway. You know, of course, the Hemi is going to have plenty of power and decent fuel economy. Let's check out the window sticker here. 
Yep, 21 on the highway, 15 in the city. I'm just going to give you a quick peek here. Tons of features. Good safety rating. All right, let's um, let's take a look under the hood. All right, there's your 5.7 liter Hemi. You have a battery that's insulated, keep you uh, keep the battery lasting longer. And you notice things are color coded. The things that you check will be in the yellow. And this, I mean, this engine does have the um, um, multi displacement system MDS, which is a cylinder deactivation. And it also has VVT, which is variable valve timing. That helps to give you more power and more efficiency. All right, if you're interested in this vehicle, or if you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email. Uh, phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.